So every day we seem to find something new. And this is a video I could do all on itself, traditional masculinity deemed harmful by the APA, which is, is crazy when you think about it. Basically, you are, uh, you know, mental. it's a mental illness to be a traditional male. Now we have things like Gillette razors coming in. You should see this ad, and we're going to go through it. There's a whole campaign. Look at this, 13 down votes to 1.7 up, though. And this really feeds into that narrative that, you know, We've seen the data, there's studies that have shown like these Twitter warriors and stuff that they think, you know, kind of rule the market. That's only like 8% of the, of the population. And you're going to see here and here, we can go over this first. They're going to talk about how they think there's a demand for this. But let's go over the ad first, right? So I'm going to link in the description this right here. This is the link to the video for you to watch. Now... You can watch this first and then come back as well. And then we can, you know, you can hear my commentary on it, but it's pretty disgusting. So we're going to go through this. If you want to watch it without commentary first, go to the link, then come back. Okay, so let's go over this. And then we'll go over that article. We'll talk about why they think that this is a good idea, right? They actually interviewed P&G, the people, the parent company to Gillette. All right, I don't want to play the first part of it because there's the jingle, the Gillette jingle. And I don't know how that would fly with YouTube's bots and stuff. So I'm going to skip that. It's basically just two men like looking in the mirror and you hear stuff like me too, talks of masculinity and men are being bad. That's pretty much what they hear. And then it cuts to this kid crying and he gets all these text messages saying, you know, oh, he's hated and stuff. Basically he's being bullied when he should learn to get confidence and stand up for himself. He's just going to be, you know, soyed out. We can't hide from it. Sexual harassment is taking. So, oh, Getting the girl whistled at, of course, it's terrible. Men trying to uh, attract a woman, you know. We need to shift to online dating, right? It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. So we got a guy being funny for the for the crowd, an old sitcom show. I don't know what this has to do with anything. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Make I got the guy trying to speak for the woman on the board. This uh, doesn't happen, okay? No one ever does this. If this woman's on the board, she's there for a reason. She earned her way there. And uh, I think that, oh, well, unless you live in California where you have to appoint one, it's mandatory. Like, like uh, it's a requirement by law, which shouldn't even be a law. But usually everywhere else, uh, they're there for a reason because they earned it. So that this is there, you know, let's play. you're being terrible. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something. Why can't boys be boys? Boys fight. We're different than females. I don't understand the problem here. But, you know, boys can't be boys anymore. Men can't be men anymore. That's kind of the message that you need to take away here. And number one, what does this have to do with anything with razors? This guy could use a friggin' shave. Why don't you go shave and show the damn Gillette razor, you idiots? Finally changed. Allegation. Oh, look at that. The Young Turks. <laughs> The Young Turks are in here. <laughs> regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Once, but she says and there will be no going back. There'll be no going back. I don't think so. I think you'll be going back to, back to the restructuring program when your stocks go down. Because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Smile, sweetie. Because no one likes nasty people. Come on. Come on, my God. To say the right thing. To act the right oh, way. Bro. So this guy's this guy's gonna go approach that woman, right? So this this is this is a message that I've noticed through a lot of this stuff, and I wanna play that back. So this girl's walking, right? Uh, she just walking and to act the right This guy's like, Whoa, I'm gonna go talk to her, right? To me, like that's not how is that bad? Like you're approaching a woman to talk. Usually women like confident men that will approach them and talk to them. That's kind of the thing. But here comes this dude. You know, no, 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 man. Way. Bro, no, not man. cool. What not cool. Doing? Nope, not cool. So this is like confusing. You want to know like part of the reason like fertility rates and stuff are down is because like normal behavior is being made to be a bad thing, right? So it's now a bad thing that you want to approach a woman and say hello to her, right? You want to go talk to that woman. How are she supposed to meet women? How are some people supposed to meet each other? That's one of the things that I don't get about all of this, right? It's toxic to want to meet a partner. 
it's it's toxic to go against human nature. Yeah, so I don't need to show it anymore. If you want to watch that whole thing, the link is in the description. The rest of it's just them, like, you know, stopping dudes from talking to women and teaching boys that they shouldn't fight, basically, that they, you know, boys shouldn't be boys and men shouldn't be men. Not one time in the entire uh, two-minute ad or however long it is does somebody actually shave themselves or show a razor. It's just them pretty much lecturing you. So you get a lecture with your razor next time you want to take a shave. Remember that you're a toxic man. You're a toxic man. Pretty soon they'll have us all on booty shorts. and uh, <laughs> I don't even know, man. This is terrible. But let's go over their reasoning for this, right? Because there's a reason that they want to do this, right? So Gillette is embracing the hashtag MeToo movement in a new digital ad campaign aimed at men. The latest message from an advertiser attempting to change societal norms. Yes, that's right. They don't want to just shave your face anymore. They want to change the norms. The ad dubbed We Believe opens the audio of news about the current blank movement, bullying, and toxic masculinity. A narrator then goes to dispute the notion that boys will be boys, asking, is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it. It has been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off making the same old excuses. This ad puts a new spin on the brand's 30-year tagline, the best a man can get, challenging men to take positive actions at stopping other men and the next generation from harassing women. And uh, I find this funny. So I'll never understand that, right? So, like, you know, that's where you meet someone. You meet someone out in the public, right? That's where you meet a woman. So if if you're not in college or anything... Other than the bar, I guess even that's bad now. So it's 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 all being moved. They all want it to be like online where they can check everything and all this stuff. Like you can't just do a natural thing. Like hundreds of years men have been approaching women and that's like been the norm. But now that's harassment. It's only harassment if you're ugly. <laughs> then it's harassment. But if it's, you know, Thor Odin's son, it's all good. It's such hypocrisy, right? I don't understand where you're supposed to meet people. I don't want to, I would never want to use online dating. I think it's dumb. It's it's for losers, in my opinion. Like, you can just go talk to a girl. Like, hey, you know, she's smiling at me or whatever. Like, you can take cues, right? Now, the harassment to me is you go up and when she says, go away, you don't go away. Like, that's different. You know, if she wants you to get the hell out of there, get the hell out of there. But if she's uh, receptive to your approach, I don't see the problem here. So... This ad will be hosted on Gillette's various YouTube pages with paid digital and social support. So you're going to be seeing this on uh, your ads for for videos you watch on YouTube. And I wonder, is this the best a man can get? Is it? I wonder if that will be on their razors. I can tell you one thing. I won't be buying any more Gillette razors. I've already stopped buying them like a couple of months ago. But now that just kind of cements my position in here that I'm not going to buy any more of this crap. Let me know in the comments, too. Are you going to buy any more Gillette razors after this? So the latest ad created by Gillette's ad agency, Gray, is among the first to address the movement head-on and blatantly tell men to change their behavior. And I'm not going to say that hashtag movement because of algorithm reasons. This is an important conversation happening, and as a company, we encourage men to be at their best. We feel compelled to both address it and take action of our own. The, br- the brand director for North America an emailed a statement, we are taking a realistic look at what's happening today and aiming to inspire change by acknowledging that the old ways, boys will be boys, is not an excuse. We want to hold ourselves to a higher standard and hope that all men we serve will come together on that journey to find our best together. And uh, then we have somebody with some common sense here say it's a risky move. <laughs> it says Dean Churchfield here. CEO of branding firm Churchfield and Partners. On the one hand, it creates credible, believable, and upfront conversation that takes brutal honesty and tough decisions, he says. I think you had it right the first time. It's a risky move because uh, I'm definitely not going to buy any more Gillette razors from this because you don't get to be preachy to me so I can shave my face. I can just go elsewhere. There's plenty to pick from when it comes to razors. And uh, I don't need your uh, I don't need your freaking... Uh, lectures right i stopped buying nike shoes because of their stupid uh social movement that they mentioned down here too gillette needs to appeal to millennials who care about what companies stand for he said 
That's, there's a demand for this, for purpose, for brands to be tackling tough issues in the movement. And I mentioned that earlier. Like I said, the data shows that like 8% of the population actually cares about this stuff. The rest are like, you know, leave me the hell alone. And uh, <laughs> they just don't get it, man. You think they could do some better marketing research and figure that out or maybe look at that actual study, which would be a good video. I think though Tim Pool did a video on that. So I want to check them out. But the ad could backfire and alienate Gillette's base, Mr. Churchfield cautioned. Does the customer want to be told they're a naughty boy? Are you asking too much of the consumer to be having this conversation with them? Brands diving into charged social issues risk turning off customers who don't agree with their stance. Don't believe it is authentic or consider it poorly handled. And then they talk about the Nike thing here. And Churchfield ends up saying it's about execution. Sometimes brands stress themselves too fine and they snap. So this is uh, by far one of the most blatant ones I've seen. Now I've seen like the Kleenex come under attack, but these were all sparked by, um, you know, Twitter outrage. This was done on their own accord. <laughs> they did this themselves. And I wonder how this is going to play out, right? Now, so far they said they're only going to be on YouTube, but I wonder, will you see this on the Super Bowl? right? I want to see this ad on the Super Bowl. You got you got the stones to do it, Gillette? Put this on the Super Bowl and let's see how far your stock goes after that. Putting on YouTube is a little bit different, but I want to see you put your money where your mouth is. But anyway, like uh, I saw somebody sent me, I think Society Reviews on Twitter sent me this and I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I thought it was fake for a second and then I like zoomed out and I'm like, whoa, this is the actual Gillette, the Gillette YouTube. Wow. That's something that's different. But anyway, uh, I, I'm getting sick of this. Company's getting woke. So it's just, you know, this just moves my dollar to other products. But the attack is real, man. I'm telling you. The attack, is, the attack on gender is real. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you thought about this ad campaign. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Check out the links in the description. Got a link to my stream me. Got a link to my Patreon. Got a link to my Twitch. Got a link to... Yeah, I think those are all the links. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going to ditch Gillette. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.